our program. Um, and I'll just do some welcome and introductions, uh, if I can find them. Where are they? Okay, well, um, in the, during the program, I will introduce people in a different fashion. But right now, I just want to say hello to everybody who's here and welcome you to Aloha's 40th anniversary uh, celebration. And if you will see the guest list, which is a white sheet on your table, if you can read it, <laughs> you might need a flashlight. Um, so their board members have a star, former board members have a, a double star. The Arizona Commission people have a plus, that's uh, Christy and Michelle over there, and Fred, where's Fred? Fred is here, he is a commissioner on the Arizona Commission for the Deaf and Hard of Hearing right now, and we have our own Sue Varden was a former commissioner. There she is over there. Um, all right, so. I'm introducing myself. I'm Cynthia Ammerman. I'm the current board president. And we have my husband, Peter, his sister, Emily, and her husband, Jim, are over there being supportive of their family. Thank you very much. Um, Stan Krugel is our treasurer. He's over here in the dark. And his wife, Judith, is coming too, but she's not here yet, right? Yeah, you might announce about the loop. What? We might announce about the loop just to make sure okay, that sure. people have telecoils. We do have a loop here. If you have telecoils, you can attach yourself to the loop. John is putting his thumbs up. Um, this is what Jim says is a very good sound system. And do you know who is responsible for this? When I came to Tucson, the president of Aloha was Dean Nelson. Dean Nelson was a member of this church, and he talked to them about looping the church sanctuary. They did that, but they did more. They also looped this Murphy Gallery, and they looped another room, which I think is a smaller one. Uh, I've seen it, but not for a long time, so I can't even tell you where it is. Um, all right, so we also have uh, Jim Luton's who is our tech person and loop verification project person. He also takes uh, used hearing aids and things like that and any things, any products that are for people with hearing loss and he makes a list of them and then people can uh, actually have these products, most of which are used but they work because he makes them work. Okay. Um, Let's go to Tish Bailey. She's our office manager, and she's sitting at the back table with her daughter, L Diaz, and she is, I just can't even describe it. <laughs> Don Booth, Don Booth, who may or may not be here, is our computer helper, and Don is telling me, since Tish has been the office manager, I've hardly gotten a call from her. That is because she knows more about the computer than anyone who has ever been our office manager. And a lot more, but I'm not going to go into it. Um, Lou Touche and his wife Linda and their friend Ann Pothoff. Uh, Ann lives in Colorado. Lou and Linda came from Seattle area. As you may know, he moved to Washington State to be nearer his family a few years ago. And we miss him but he does appear in our peer support group once in a while, and we, for which we are very grateful, because he was the one that started the Let's Loop Tucson project, and he continues to be interested and to give information to people who come to our meetings. Then there's Wayno Garini, and he is somewhere back there with a camera. He is recording some things here. Uh, he will not record people's questions because that we, we would all have to sign a, a, a waiver and we're not going to do that. Take your time for that right now. Um, Ruthie McKee is a new member of ours. She's back at the back table and she's a very enthusiastic new member who just got a CI several weeks ago and she's doing very well with it. 
Um, then I did mention Christy and Michelle, and I'll talk more about them later during the program. And let me see, Michael Shipman is here. Michael uh, just got operated on for a CI, and he, hasn't, he gets it turned on on April 11th. Suzanne Kaiser. Suzanne Kaiser is a friend of Sue Varden's, who is a member of Aloha, and who, at a Desert Cochlear meeting group meeting, she said, well, I'm going to donate the food to you for the 40th celebration. So there it is back there. <laughs> She's not here right now because she had to go to Flagstaff today. But we're going to give her a big thank you when she gets back. We've already thanked her, of course, but uh, she needs more than that, I think. <laughs> OK. For, and the food is, Sue and I tested it the other day. We determined it's quite good. And we hope you think so, too. OK. So Gail and John Swarbrick. Our members, Gail, as a board member, John is a guy who knows how to do so many things around Aloha and the building. And we're so thankful for him. He was, he ran our sort of yard work, or our work day uh, uh, last year and did a fantastic job of it. He knows a lot and helped us with uh, cleaning up Aloha. Now, Kaylee Jo, uh, Kaylee Boyles is over at that table. She is our University of Arizona student liaison. She has done a fabulous job of connecting us with the university, and I'll say more about that later. Uh, Nancy Hook, where's Nancy? She is one of our strongest advocates. She will not take no for an answer. She goes there to the places that don't allow her to be, have access, and she lets them know that they need to. And she's gotten a lot done that way. All right. Uh, Bruce and Jennifer Stewart. Bruce is, where is Bruce? There he is, okay. Bruce is an ENT who has been on our board for a very long time. He's a stalwart member of Aloha, and his wife Jennifer is with him today. Um, Hugh Humphreys, where is Hugh Humphreys? Maybe not here yet, okay. Mark Dyson and Okay, they're not here. Okay, Pat Clinch. Is Pat Clinch here? No. No. Okay. Well, she was a past secretary, and I'll tell you more about her later. Larry Witchman is the, one of the greatest volunteers we've got, uh, along with John Swarbrick. They know a whole heck of a lot at, about uh, making the place nicer than and, and uh, for... Uh, sprucing it up for new members and so forth. We keep our fingers crossed that they want to keep volunteering. <laughs> um, okay, I mentioned Ann, Fred, and Pat. Marsha, is Marsha here? No. No, okay. The Ru Ruika, Tracy, and Bob? No. no. Well, they may show up. Who knows? Joy Newman? No. She's not here? No. She was coming with... Uh, she, a friend is driving her. She's blind and legally blind, and she's was been on our board for a long time. But she stepped off the board and is now an advisor to us. And she was the past president, national president of Sertoma, and uh, she was coming with her friend Sheila Tostado. Maybe they stopped for some tostados. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. But okay. So um, uh, Don is not. Is Don Booth here now? And Pam Wood, where is Pam? Over there. She is the longest standing board member of Aloha. She was on a, the Aloha board before it existed. <laughs> and her patient was Gloria Burrell, the woman who founded the organization. And, um, and so uh, Gloria spoke to her about forming an organization. And this is how it happened. She was there at the very beginning, and we'll talk more about that. Karen Liptak, is she here? No, no. no she said she wouldn't. And um, last but not least, uh, Celerina and Louis Ross, who are at the back table with my husband and relatives. Nice to see you, and thank you for coming. Oh, Eva!
I had you on here. <laughs> Ebba, Ebba was the, one of the best facilitators I have ever seen. In fact, she was my model for when we made a bunch of tips for facilitators, we swarmed a group, and Ebba really is the person who knows how to do it. And I watched her and tried to be like her. Um, she's now living in Tucson, but she used to live in Green Valley and co-facilitate the Green Valley group, and before that she had it herself. Okay, I think we got everybody. Did I miss anyone? No, 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 no. Okay. All right, so the thing we need to do now, we need to eat. <laughs> yes, we're going to eat. Please uh, let's turn the lights back on so you can get some food over there. There's some meatballs, there's some uh, Caesar salad with crostini, and there's some paninis with vegetables and some with meat. And uh, yes, John. Oh, Trudy. No way. <laughs> I had you on here first. I, put the, the on there first. I want to say something about her. She has done a fabulous job of putting this thing together. Um, she, she was the person who, uh, yes! She leads our tinnitus group, which is the largest group we have. Sometimes she has, how many Trudy have you had in, in one sitting at, at the tinnitus support group? But yeah. I usually have about 25, which is perfect for me because then I can see everybody on one screen. Yeah, that's good. I can't make okay. it smaller because then I can't see. Yeah. So uh, Trudy also uh, links us with the American Tinnitus Association. She's had a lot of interaction with them. And uh, she made our name tags today. So Trudy, thank you. We are so grateful to you. Unbelievable. I skipped over the top person. <laughs> I can't That's believe okay. it. I wanted, to see, I wanted to talk about you first. <laughs> okay, it's time to eat. Please help yourselves. Don't eat the cake yet unless you're a dessert first person. Okay. Uh, <laughs> but you're going to have to, the, the utensils and plates are over there, and then you go through the line. You can, you can go through the line a second time for the dessert. Okay? So help yourselves. And